mention killer robots and many of us think of this, a machine able to think, feel and kill. We have no way of knowing whether the kind of artificial general intelligence needed to create a sentient robot like this will ever be possible. But here's what we already have. Semi-autonomous machines, drones, tanks, aircraft, robots big and small, machines that can be weaponized, even programmed to find targets. But the final decision of whether to take a life lies with us. So-called killer robots, fully autonomous weapons that can select and kill without human intervention, well, they don't exist yet. We don't want to see killing outsourced to machines on the battlefield or in policing or in border control and other circumstances. This is why we call for a preemptive ban on the development, production and use of killer robots as soon as possible. We already have facial recognition technology to unlock our phones. That could be used by a fully autonomous weapon, a drone, say, to identify and then attack a target without a human having the final say. But what if it kills the wrong person or the machine malfunctions and continues to hunt and kill long after a conflict has been resolved? Whose responsibility is it? when a fully autonomous weapon gets it wrong. So everybody's got their experience with computers not working, with phones and iPads failing, uh, you know, and that's an inconvenience at best. Uh, imagine that when you have the weapon system, which is failing, which is failing to turn off. Killer robots could be hacked and then used by your enemy forces against you uh, and against your population, uh, and that they could be programmed to target a certain part of the population uh, to go out there and to seek all military age males, uh, you know, and, and determine them to be legitimate targets and fire upon them. 61% of people polled in 26 countries last year oppose fully autonomous weapons. 28 countries have signed up to a ban. Tech companies, scientists, researchers and engineers in their thousands have over the years pledged not to knowingly create killer robots. But plenty of others are embracing artificial intelligence in warfare. And states like Israel, Russia, South Korea and the United States are among those resisting the ban. Countries may agree we're all better off without killer robots. But no one wants to be left behind on the battlefield.